Hi guys, I, um, I'm glad you're here if you're joining me. We give people a minute or two to get here. Um, this is um, a live, I'm only gonna do it for like 15 or 20 minutes, um, flattening the emotional curve. I think it's a really tough time for a lot of us. I was just finished screaming at my family about the fact that I was going live. So clearly I'm not holding it together so well. Um, but in all seriousness, um, what I want to talk about is um, how to manage this crazy, crazy time. And I think we're all going through what I would call a roller coaster. Um, sometimes like you're like so happy because there's a little bit of good news and then, oh my God, everything's terrible and there's terrible news and um, people are just constantly feeding people information. Some of it's accurate, some of it's not accurate. It's a little crazy time. I think it's a crazy time for us and it feels like an emotional roller coaster. And I kept hearing about people talking about flattening the curve and I thought, oh my God, that's what we need. We need somebody to flatten the emotional curve. So, um, so that's what we're gonna be doing now. And um, I'm hoping during the course of the next week or two or three, however long this craziness lasts, um, to bring on other therapists from my office. Um, and I think all of us will be talking about all kinds of different ways in which people can um, make themselves feel better and essentially flatten the curve. So um, I'm gonna encourage people as you're watching, please send me questions. I'm happy to address them or comments, things you're doing that might be making people feel better. And um, I think we can all kind of be helping each other through this really, really crazy time. Um, it's actually nine o'clock now, so I'm gonna kind of repeat and start again. I hope that's not terribly boring. Um, I'm just gonna say to people that um, the idea that gave me, what made me think about this is, watching myself and our staff at Maid's Health um, go a little bit crazy. Um, people have been amazing and terrific and helpful, but one of the things we're also finding is that everybody's just running this crazy emotional roller coaster of emotions. And I know that I've got it too. And I, I was laughing because I was like screaming at my daughter before I got on, like, you have to get out of the because I'm going live on Facebook. And um, I'm thinking, oh, that's a really good way to start a session on flattening the emotional curve. But the time is now. We are running crazy high. Um, I saw somebody posted something about the fact that um, either I'm always nervous that I'm not doing enough or I'm so terribly, terribly nervous that I'm doing too much. And so what I wanna say to you is we're all feeling that. And that is like the normal up and down roller coaster and that's okay, but we're gonna try to flatten that curve a little bit. So instead of like woohoo, we're all feeling a little bit like a little bit more like that on our day. So um, what I'm gonna do now right now is talk about, um, I'm splitting my discussion into what you can do kind of physically to keep yourself um, happy physically and less likely to get sick. And then I'm gonna talk emotionally about what we can do to sort of keep ourselves safe emotionally. And you know, everything that we do at Maze is this combination of the physiological and the psychological, and this is gonna be another way of approaching it. Like, you need to be looking at both of those things. And I'm gonna encourage people as they're watching here to e email me, email me comments, email me questions, email me suggestions that you have. So um, one of the things I'm gonna start talking about in terms of keeping yourself um, healthy is, um, you need to be eating right. And I hear people talking about the fact that they're like in their house and they have like, um, they just, every 20 minutes, they're getting up to eat something. And um, especially mothers are telling me that like they have 33 snacks before lunchtime hits. Um, so I would just say to you, the obvious thing that you know, you know, but maybe do it, like have your kids help you make cut up vegetables and fruit and keep cut up vegetables and fruit around so that if you're snacking, you're eating healthy things. And at the end of the day, you don't feel like you just rolled out of the, um, the, the cereal shelf at, in, the, um, in, the, on the, in the grocery store. So that's number one. Number two is try to get sleep. And right now I feel like I'm quoting one of my favorite rabbis, Rabbi Avi Weiss, and he often when he speaks to the congregation, he says, um, I'm talking to myself and I'm allowing you to listen. And that's exactly how I feel. Like I, I should be sleeping more. I'm having trouble sleeping. Um, so it's a really, really important time to make sure that you get enough sleep because you really want to um, keep your immune system healthy. And so eating healthy, sleeping enough, um, and then let me talk about exercise. This one is gonna be a challenge. They close the gyms, they close the pools, um, but you gotta get out to exercise. You just have to, it's like critical. And um, 
that means maybe moving around in your house and that might be moving up running down the steps or it may be um it may be pulling at your hula hoop at some point i am getting a little better at my hula hooping for those of you who know that that was my challenge the sex therapist with hula hoops is my challenge i am actually starting to be able to hula hoop so that's going to be something i'm working on while i'm stuck at home and you guys should take it up as well so you need to find kind of fun ways to exercise build it into your day build in 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there running up and down the steps um running back and forth in your house go out for a walk if the weather's nice it was raining here in new york unfortunately but um you need to be um you need to know that um, if you can get out, tomorrow's supposed to be a little nicer in New York, even for 10 minutes. Um, keep your social distance. Don't be near anybody, but get outside. Okay, so now let me shift directions. Let me talk about um, what I think we should all be doing to um, help ourselves emotionally during this time. And let's see if we can flatten that emotional curve by, um, by taking care of ourselves. So um, one of the things I want to talk about is shutting down the news. I think people are going through the rabbit hole of all news all the time. Believe me, I totally get that. And especially when you're sitting at home, you're like, oh my God, I just saw something on the news that said X and I just saw something on the news that said Y. And I promise you, it's not helping you. It isn't. So just maybe make your, give yourself some news breaks. Like know that you will listen to the news maybe once an hour or once every two or three hours. Nothing dramatic is going to change in the news and it's just going to make you, or your heart race and makes you, going to make you terribly nervous. So I, before I say anything else, I need to say you need to take a news break. Um, I'm gonna, I said this before, um, for the people watching, I want you to feel free to either email suggestions or questions, I'm happy to hear about them. Um, I'm happy to share suggestions, I think it would be great if people shared suggestions as well. So um, avoid all the news all the time. For those of you who are at home, and that's most people, I mean, I was at work actually today until about an hour ago, um, but for most of the people who are really kind of stuck at home right now, um, I really, really recommend coming up with some kind of schedule in the morning before you do anything else. Like figure out, I want to get X done. I want Y done. This is what I'm going to do for fun. This is when I'm going to take some breaks. You may not stick to the schedule entirely, but at least you'll feel at the end of the day, like you accomplished something and you don't turn around and it's 5 PM and you've been listening to the news all day. So set yourself a schedule and limit your news. Um, okay. Two, those are two super important things. Now, this is something I've been seeing people say, but it really bears repeating. And that is um, connect with people, but connect with people who make you feel good, okay? Not people who make you feel anxious and crazy. This is not the time to be doing that. Um, and the best thing to do, and I'm sure my family would say I'm the person who makes them feel anxious and crazy. Um, the best thing to do is kind of monitor yourself when you get off the phone. Like when you get off the phone or you get off the Zoom meeting, like how do you feel? Do you feel calmer and happier? Or do you feel like stressed out and anxious? And if you feel stressed out and anxious, that may be a person you kind of want to keep some distance from. We're keeping distance from everybody, but you might want to call or not talk to them. It's And you ha it's, have to be okay with it. Like it's fine. There's going to be some people who raise your stress level and you, that you are not obligated to be with those particular people. So I'm going to repeat, don't spend your entire day doing news, schedule your day in the morning, try to make sure that the people you're connecting with are people that make you feel good and happy and calm or make you laugh. Those are the people that you want to be with. Okay, now let's talk about trying to fit some small things in during the course of the day. I'm watching, look at my watch, because I don't wanna, I really don't wanna over, over run my 15 minutes of time. Um, finding fun things that fit into your day. So I know that I've started recently dancing um, in my living room. Um, I turn on, you know, we, uh, I will survive or it's raining men or some songs that I know make me super happy and I just dance to them. So first of all, gets my heart rate up. Second of all, it's just fun and it feels like a total break. Um, and it makes me smile and, um, and sometimes it even schleps my family members into it as well. And so I, I highly recommend finding things, little things like that, that, um, that just sort of make you feel happy, even if it's only for a few minutes. So 
Um, if you're not a big dancer and you like the idea of singing with, the, you know, put, put on a song and belt it out, you know, you can sing along with it. I'm always joking around that some of the vibrators I give out look like uh, microphones. Use the vibrator, you know, use the vibrator other ways too, but use the vibrator as a microphone um, and, um, and sing. Because again, there's very little other than singing and dancing that makes me feel particularly happy. I have been noticing that um, one of my friends on Facebook has always um, is always sort of commenting when I post flowers. So flowers personally make me super happy. Like I having flowers around make me happy. Having flowers in the room make me happy. Um, live flowers make me happy. Um, the fact that my garden is just starting to bloom makes me happy. So I wander out to the garden when I can, even for two minutes. It's freezing. Those tulips are, not the tulips, I'm sorry, the uh, daffodils, the yellow, bright yellow daffodils are coming up and that makes me super happy. Um, somebody just texted me, um, Zoom session dance party, I'm in. So maybe as one of our flatten the curve um, lives, we will do a Zoom party dance live. Um, I think that's an amazing idea and thank you for, thank you for suggesting it. Um, it's one of the people from Maze who suggested it and I think that's amazing. I think we should totally do that. Um, if you're somebody who really likes doing computer games, you should um, do computer games, but keep your eye on the keep your eye on the time because it becomes a very, very difficult it, like to pull yourself away sometimes when you get stuck on that computer. Um, I also think that if you have movies um, or comedians that make you laugh, now is the time to dig out that um, that CD, I know nobody uses CDs anymore, right? Okay, now it's time to download that. Um, laughing is probably the best thing you can do for yourself um, because that is gonna just get your endorphins running. It's gonna do the healthy piece and it's gonna do the mood piece. So I highly recommend that as well. So um, I am going to um, just repeat some of the things I said so that for the future, everybody can sort of keep, keep this. Um, I think find small things that make you happy. I was laughing as I was getting ready for this. I pulled out this mug. I love this mug of New York City. It just makes me happy. I can't quite say why, but I really, really love this mug and I, it just makes me feel better. I don't get to use it that often because I have a daughter who likes that mug also, as it turns out, and she's home from school. Um, so um, so da dance, sing, take breaks, schedule your day, schedule your day. Um, take um, breaks to do things that are fun and take breaks to do things that are physical, like running up and down the steps or hula hooping or dancing in the living room. Um, and um, make sure that you are talking only to people or as best you can only to people that um, make you feel calm and relaxed and happier. Um, I am going to come back on live at different times during the day, during this week and hopefully next week as well or as things slow down, maybe not. Um, I've been bringing um, Jen, who's one of the therapists in our office who talks a lot about self-care. I'm going to bring on Helen, who does a lot of breathing techniques, so that'll be a good thing for us to look at together. And I'm going to bring on Paul, who um, is the male sex therapist, who is without question the funniest person on our staff. Um, and um, I'm gonna maybe bring in some therapists from other parts. I was just talking to a friend of mine who's a therapist in Delaware, and um, and she, I said to her, will you come on live with me to talk about how could we together flatten the curve, um, flatten that, this emotional curve that we're all going through. So um, I'm gonna end right now, um, and maybe we'll do a Zoom dance party. Wait, I got another suggestion. Um, um, nope, somebody's just telling me that I'm really good at talking to the camera and that it feels like I'm talking to them. And so I know who you are and I'm so happy you're watching and I'm so glad you said that because I always feel awkward when I'm talking into the camera. So thank you for saying that. Um, so um, I keep, a, keep an eye out on my Facebook page and my Instagram page. I will always say when we're going live, um, I love the idea of a Zoom dance party. I love that idea. I think we're gonna do it with all the May staff um, and, and we'll, maybe we'll do it live and um, just hold it together and try to be happy because this is just such a tough time for so many of us and we're all gonna be in this together. But I do promise you, you're gonna get through this. The time will be over. Um, we will look at each other and we will say, we cannot believe, we cannot believe 
that we all weathered that storm together. So um, have a wonderful evening. Know that you know we at Maze are thinking about you and we'll be on at regular intervals and if there are times that you particularly want, like if you think having somebody in the morning or having somebody in the afternoon or midnight, whatever you feel like would be super helpful, please let us know because we really, really wanna be there for you. So um, good night and um, as I've been saying to everybody I know, stay safe and stay sane and let's together flatten this emotional curve.